everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I am your host, D Boss, and I'm just hoping that everybody is doing their 15 minutes of laughing every day so that will keep you looking youthful, bring down your blood pressure. It also helps warm up your vocal cords and it also tones your abs, but you still need to go to the gym, obviously. So I'm <laughs> I'm just hoping everybody's doing their due diligence in that. And also, um, I'm on Monday to Friday, weeknights, about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So on Carib Vision, we're available in 28 different countries, including London, UK. Also, in if you're in Canada, we're on Bell 5, Channel 658. You just don't have to just watch me alone. You can watch all the other wonderful programming that's on, uh, on Carib Vision. And then in case if you missed all those things, then you could go to my YouTube channel, which is D Boss Network. Subscribe, share, like, and you could watch all the wonderful guests that I've had on in the past while. So you can watch at your own time and convenience. So there's no excuse for anybody not to um, get in, get in and watch something. All right, so I'm gonna have one of our sponsors here just give us a little bit vital steps, vital health, Joanne James, and then we'll be right back with our special guests. Welcome to your vital steps to better health and fitness. I'm Joanne James. Today, we're talking about exercise snacking. It's a fantastic way to fit exercise into your busy schedule. Exercise snacking is about taking small bites of exercise throughout the day. And it could look like this, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes of movement in some way, shape or form is an exercise snack. You can, instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs up a flight. Or you can go for a brisk walk for five minutes. If you're watching TV, you can sit down and do some stretches or sit and stand to work those legs. When you're at work, do some stretches at the desk. All of that is exercise snacking. The beauty is it does not require a membership and neither do you need equipment. So take advantage of those small pockets of time that you have throughout the day to do some form of movement. You'll feel great. I'm Joanne James, and this has been your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. See you next time. Thank you, Joanne James, for that healthy snacking. And people, that's not meaning you go and get some food and you go eat. That means if you've been sitting down, if you're at the studio for all these hours, get up and start to do some stretches, workout, walk around a bit. If you've been at your computer all day, we'll try to get up between and do some intervals so that you're able, you're able to see and able to feel better that you're just not sitting at your desk all the time. So with that being said, I thank you again. So now people know the difference between the healthy, um, what's healthy snacking, not meaning to go make something healthy and eat. That's all good too, but this, that's not the case. <laughs> All right, so we got our guests here, and they are celebrating uh, 20 years of hip hop. And um, we're going to talk with some of the individuals that are part of that um, organization. And um, it's called the House of Paint. And today, who's going to tell us all about this and all this wonderful thing that's going on? And we have Apollo the Child. So we'll welcome, welcome him. How's it going, D Boss? Thank you for having me. Oh, I thank you for having me too. I'm telling you, <laughs> having me, you having me. That's right, you having me available. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, everybody here at Real Life Matters likes to know Apollo. What's your background and your culture? So, if you could tell us that. Yeah, for sure. Like ethnicity wise. Or like art wise, <laughs> so ethnicity wise, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just I'm answering all the above, you know. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked. I'm just gonna do the job, you know. Gonna... Anyways, uh, jokes aside, um, from Iraq, uh, Middle Eastern, okay. but I was born here in Canada, in Montreal. So I've kind of lived my whole life here, and uh, yeah, I specialize in spoken word poetry. Woo! So how long have you been doing that for? 13 years. I started when I was 19. I'm 33 now. 14. 14 years. 
Wow. Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> We're fun. So what got you into that to do the spoken word? Like what got you into it? So it was actually hip hop that got me into it. The first spoken word artist I heard was Black Ice. And uh, he, I believe, opened up Pete Rock's Soul Survivor 2. Shout out to all my music heads. If you know Pete Rock, legend in the hip hop industry. Um, and growing up, I was very shy and quiet. Grew up in like, you know, Ottawa public housing, government housing. So we didn't always have the resources. Uh, my parents didn't have resources to send us to art classes or any kind of workshops like that. And the beautiful thing about both hip hop and spoken word poetry is you don't really need much to be able to do it. You know, whether it's just a notebook, a pen for hip hop, you need a beat, which, you know, is widely accessible nowadays with the internet. So it helped uh, empower me, give me the voice that I really, really needed being like very, very quiet and shy and used to get a lot of social anxiety. But now like, well, like well, we're chilling, you, you know, no, 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 <laughs> 100%. now I speak for a living. Like, <laughs> All right. So this is what you do. You do um, full time or or part time. Yeah, yeah. No, full time. I, I run like multiple full time jobs. <laughs> There's only so many hours in the, uh, the day, but, you know, we, we work them all. So uh, I do this full time. Um, and then I also work in social work full time, too. Okay, so um, so who have you worked with in the industry? In the industry? So back when I was actively uh, rapping, we my band Poetic Elements, shout out, you know, we're no longer active, but give a lot of love. Uh, we opened up for a lot of acts like Odyssey, a lot of underground hip hop acts. Uh, you know, so that was like almost a lifetime ago. We did Far Side for their 25th, anniversary of their debut album bizarre ride that was pretty cool mm -hmm. and uh in terms of spoken word you know i got uh carlos andres uh we worked with him back in the day um yeah it's been like a couple of names to be honest it's kind of escaping me at this point <laughs> it's been a long 14 years and of course like all the canadian legends here in canada like Dwayne morgan we got jamal jackson rogers you know uh, John Ekpada, Ian Kedeku. Know, yeah. We know Dwayne's part of our family. <laughs> okay, Dwayne, Dwayne is like the godfather of spoken word. That's that's what we call him here. So, yeah, Dwayne gets a lot, a lot of respect, a lot of love. Uh, he was actually one of the poets I looked up to when I first started. So, Okay. All right. So if you had an opportunity to um, work with anybody um, and you could collab, do a collaboration or anything, who, which sure. three would you want to? Oh, Black Ice, easy, because that's that's what that was my springboard. That's what got me into spoken word. You know, that was like the catalyst. So I think it'd be a huge honor to be able to just like connect with him and see what his writing writing process is, because everybody has a different approach to writing. Right. And uh, to be able to see like the behind the scenes, the work in progress, I think that'd be huge. Okay, and who else? Uh, I mean, I, P Rock as well, but that's kind of <laughs> it's kind of answering like in the same vein. But uh, other than that, you know, I listen to a lot of hip hop myself. Um, I grew up on hip hop. There's a artist in Norway, English speaking artist that goes by Ivan Av. Amazing, amazing writer. I think, uh, you know, working with him and get a lot out of it. Talib Kweli as well. I grew up idolizing Mos Def, Talib Kweli, uh, the Black Star Movement, Common as well. You know, Black Thought from the Roots is just absolutely amazing. Like, you know, I can, I can name names all day. And, you know, hopefully one day it'll happen. Who knows, you know? I'm well, gonna speak into existence. Real life yeah, exactly. Happen because people sure. like, might ask the question, and then you never know someone they're calling you. Yeah, one hundred percent. And if that ever happens, I'd be like, you know, I know, I know where that came from. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and it has happened to people. For sure. <laughs> so, all right. So, tell us a little bit about the festival of House of Pain and to, to, uh, the twenty years. So, tell me, you know, about that. Yeah, for sure. So House of Paint is an urban arts uh, festival that happens here in the capital city uh, once a year. It's an annual festival. Um, this one, of course, like you said, being our 20th anniversary. It's a three-day festival starting on Friday uh, with a poetry slam. Yeah, three days. Wow. Yeah, three days. But the programming is different. So the first day uh, we kick off with the poetry slam that I organize and I run. I'll be hosting it as well. Um, okay. It's the city's biggest, most competitive slam. There's $500 on the line, so it gets like really, really competitive. Um, again, biggest cash prize in the city as well in terms of poetry slams. 
Saturday is our main event under the Dunbar Bridge next to Carlton University, uh, where we have it's an all day, so all ages. In Ottawa, in Ottawa. All in Ottawa. Yes, correct. Okay. All right. For so people for the Saturday, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. I know correct. lately I'm getting a lot of people from Ottawa, but you guys are gonna know where it is soon. <laughs> 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 Thank you for that. Thanks for the clarification. Um, but yeah, so our main event happens next to Carlton University under the Dunbar Bridge. It's an all-ages free event. Um, there's going to be live graffiti, uh, dance battle. This year, for our 20th anniversary, we're actually sending a uh, Canadian rep uh, for dance battles to France to compete in the world competition. So whoever wins on Saturday uh, gets to represent the whole nation in the world. So that's kind of our first year doing it. So we're very excited for that. Okay. And then... Sunday, we normally just have programming uh, called the Knowledge Conference, where we do just a day and a series of workshops throughout the day, and artists can kind of drop in with the ones that they're uh, interested in and kind of learning from there. So our huge mandate is kind of giving back to the community and to artists as much as we possibly can and trying to be as accessible as possible. So the only paid event, I believe, is the Friday. Um, okay. and Yeah, so Saturday, and I believe the Knowledge Conference is uh, free as well, so... It's all about accessibility. So the knowledge conference is giving you um, information on how to be, become um, a hip hop or how to become involved or what to do. Yeah. So it just like just how to become an artist in general. Like, for example, last year we had uh, a like DIY video workshop where we had a very, very cool videographer come in and show you how you can optimize your cell phone, uh, especially the iPhone to take like almost industry quality um videos and stuff like that we had people come in and give a talk about um how to optimize your tiktok account and you know they were like really getting a buzz off that as well so it's just like really it, it tackles all uh, facets of being an artist it's not exclusive to hip-hop but okay. it does have a strong lean to hip-hop okay so it's not exclusive but it's it, but it's in the category of the hip-hop thing for sure yeah that's okay. a good way to put it all right so do people have to register is, or is it too late to register if they want to get in the competition or they had to do that from prior? Yeah, they had to do that from prior, unfortunately. So the lineup is locked down. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm very excited for it because uh, I got to choose. And that's the fun part for me is kind of curating Whoa. what the so night not, is going to look like. You're choosing. You're, you're selecting. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. It's, it's very, very selective. So, And that's what like breeds like such a huge competition because like we try to bring in people who like newbies and also people who are a little more seasoned and kind of mixing it up a little bit so it should be a good night last year uh because last year was my first year with the organization and it, it got pretty pretty close it was very cool to see and the person who wanted it was uh their first year performing so and i watched her just kind of slay like spoken word veterans that like i've known for years it was very impressive so you never know that's the thing about slam competitive like you never know what you're gonna get so so you guys been doing this for 20 for 20 years so 20 I guess years it, yeah so so how 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 advanced like for next year if people want to get involved how much time did it got to go like three months in advance to put in that if they, yeah like, about like, two months two so months? What I suggest is if you're interested, make sure you follow House of Paint on Instagram uh, or just go to houseofpaint.ca. Normally, um, you'll see all the call outs on either the website or the Instagram, Facebook as well. But, you know, I don't know too many people that use Facebook anymore, to be honest with you. So I would definitely suggest. Um, <laughs> yeah. I do. And I know tons of people that still do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, no disrespect, but, you know. Just, just <laughs> Facebook just ain't it lately. <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth, though, I don't do TikTok. That's too much for me either. Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok. <laughs> for sure. There. So people but the, people that. No, 100. percent And like House of Paint's the same thing. Like you can find us on everything. I just suggest Instagram because that's, <laughs> in my opinion, the easiest to just find the information you're looking for. You know what I mean? Well, that's true. You can find them. Yeah. You can pull them up. You can pull them up. All right. Sure. So. So when they're when they're coming entering this competition what do you guys what do they have to submit along to see if they get selected to be in For the sure. competition? so name obviously 
you know, email for me to contact you. I say that because a lot of people didn't provide that this year. And I was like, cheating down wow. poets. <laughs> Give me an email, please. Uh, and just a little sample of your work, whether it's written, audio, video, like we take all mediums. And uh, normally I kind of sift through it and see who kind of fits uh, the well, vibe of the well, night. And in it, you give them three minutes, two minutes, or what is it? Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes is the max. They have a grace period of 10 seconds. And with this okay. being highly competitive, um, normally in a normal competition, if you go over it, they just deduct off your overall score. Um, with this, wow. you get a, you get eliminated. So you have to stay concise. You have to be on point. Uh, three minutes, grace period, 10 seconds. Otherwise, you're eliminating yourself from the competition. Okay. You heard that from, you heard that from Apollo, you hear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so make, sure, make sure you watch your time. <laughs> yeah. Practice, yeah, rehearse. Like even for me, yeah. you know, I do. We got to know on time. We got everything's timing, timing. And for if sure. you don't know how to schedule your time and, and time what you're saying, then what's the sense? Mm -hmm. That's very well put. Time management is very important, even beyond slam. <laughs> <laughs> okay so when this is going so after this finish the festival is three days so after this finish so what do you guys do you just sit back or you what do oh you guys absolutely do? not yeah so we <laughs> offer uh off-season programming yeah i wish we could just <laughs> kick back a little <laughs> you know we do take a little time off because the festival it takes a lot to run it um yes. but then we put on um very specific like showcases uh throughout the year whether it's dance battles whether it's live competition Last year, we did a series called Hop in the Hood, Hop, short for House of Paint, uh, where we showed up to different neighborhoods and uh, we just did live performances. Uh, I was fortunate to be a part of it. So it was kind of pretty cool. Yes. And like we normally go to areas that like normally wouldn't get these live performances and it's a free event as well. So no buy in. And we try to like just bring the community together in that way. Um, there's also different galleries and stuff like that, that, you know, we tend to be a part of as well. Okay. But the programming just doesn't talk. It's that this these three days are just the main event, you know? Okay. And then for the going for the rest of the year there's programming going on. All year round thing. For sure. Yeah. All right. So stay in touch, stay tuned. Just that day and then Yeah, of course. Next week your next year. <laughs> you know what No, I, mean? I get you. And and that's valid. Uh, House of Paint though, we've always been for the community, so we try to be as engaging to the community as possible. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so unfortunately, are you going to be performing or not really? No, just hosting. You know, I'll be uh, the vehicle behind the event. So no pressure on me at all. I'm just there to curate the show and keep it moving. <laughs> if there's any complaints, you go to him. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. But yes, come to me. <laughs> yeah, I haven't competed in a while. We got your name now. And we yes, got the they do. Kings the name, the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So do you want to give any shout outs to the sponsors and people or? Yeah. Yeah. Big shout out to House of Paint in general. Congratulations on uh, the 20 year anniversary. Um, big shout out to everyone that's going to come out, you know, to the artists, to the city. You know, we love the city and we hope to give as much as we possibly can back to it. So. Okay. Hopefully we'll see you. Hopefully you're engaged and uh because we're gonna be as engaging as possible. Well it's three days it's out there. So well how long how how, how long does it start at? In the night, in the evening, or when? So for Friday, doors open at seven PM at the oh. uh NAC, the National Art Center. Okay. Um and then there's an after party afterwards. So, you know, stay tuned, <laughs> stay around. Uh for Saturday, I believe I it starts at noon. The after party is people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> we love us an after party uh saturday it's just an all-day thing uh so we start at noon and we run until i believe 8 or 9 p.m okay. i could be wrong don't quote me on that but it runs basically all day and i think there's an after party then as well uh -huh. but uh yeah for the knowledge conference no after party you know show up learn <laughs> get educated yeah, and then food there available and stuff yes yes oh. we will at the uh, after party on friday uh, we have some food vendors on site on Saturday. And then uh, for Sunday at the Knowledge Conference, they usually provide like snacks and stuff like that and some refreshments. I hope not chips. and. <laughs> no, usually fruit. We try to be healthy with it. Fruit. Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, there's not hot dogs. So like maybe. That's- <laughs> <laughs> well, Saturday, there might be. There might be on Saturday. I won't lie to you. But yeah, that's more of a like uh, outdoor, you know, picnic vibe that we got. So. Well, that's okay. With Lost some live art. And the cook and the cook is cooking them all okay. For sure. All right. So tell us with the website and your social media so that people can uh, follow you guys and go find out all the latest updates. 100%. Thank you. Uh, so you can find House of Paint at houseofpaint.ca or just at House of Paint on Instagram, Facebook. It's all kind of very uh, homogenized. You can find us all in that central link. Um, again, my preference is Instagram. You know, I don't know about Facebook. I'm kidding. Go on Facebook <laughs> for Facebook. <laughs> I just want to rile you up a little bit. He might get caught off. Oh, man. But yeah, just House of Paint.ca, House of Paint on everything. You'll find us there. All right. Well, we're congratulating House of Paint for 20 years. Wow. Today. Thank you. So thank you. You know, I, I do want to thank, you know, Apollo the Child for coming and explaining it. And he's a part of it and he's hosting it. So if any complaints, you guys can go to him. <laughs> 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 just write the complaint on a $50 bill. You know, I, I do take <laughs> feedback. <laughs> <laughs> and um and, and and you'll have to go there because they're not disclosing um the after parties yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stay in uh, touch check the website out all right and i do want to thank the viewers for like tuning in to real life matters here with us sure. with apollo the child you know thank you so much for your time all right no problem so good night and bye for now everyone good night